this is how it looks getting ready for body work. So let's see what it took to get to this point. Start by looking at an original Cyclops, which is 48 inches long and sitting about 13 inches off the ground with only four inch tires. So I would say we need to go closer to the ground, have larger tires, and maybe stretch out the front end a little bit so we can get the airflow a little bit better. Shown here is a layout that I made, and then when we pull back, there's one eighth inch temper board. I cut a full scale template. This is a good thing to work with. I laid my larger tires on this template just to see what it was kind of going to look like. All right, what we're looking at here is the basic frame where you end up, you're sitting here, you got your feet pedals right here and here. We ended up, I mounted it on a board so I keep track of it. Ended up, got two by fours and located the spindle brackets. Now these are located where I want them to sit when I get the uh, I guess you say it's structured now. We notice we got a small rack and pinion here. And this tube right here, what I ended up doing, I got bushings on the end, well like bushings, because they don't really need to move a lot. <laughs> got 11 inch bolt going down through there. We got to stabilize the twisting. I'll probably weld some more structure here for these brackets. So now what I'm going to end up doing is coming off probably with a 1x2 so I can still keep that stabilization up here with another piece to connect to these on both sides. And uh, at least that's step one. This is of course the base of the roll cage that's going to come up through. So we'll have a curved section coming up on this end and straight in the back and figure out from there. This is my tube bender. I used one inch OD times 0.08 wall tubing. And then I ended up as a hold down. I had my truck and it actually turned out pretty good. And here's the frame after a few more structural members were welded in. Then mounted some components just to see what it kind of looked like to this stage. Looking right now at the back part, the engine mount, I guess you'd call it. So essentially, three quarter square tubing welded together. I go over to the front. I did the same using the just bronze bushing since it ain't going to be moving that much with three eighths inch bolt. Did that on both sides. Of course, we got our engine mounting plate. We used bearings. That's for the bearings there for the axle. And that's my brake mount, I guess you'd say. And there, go back, and that's the mount for the shocks or coil springs. Got three, three locations on there if needed. Pretty much this part is done right now. Here's what it looked like with some wheels and tires in place. Adding some panels. I weigh 160 pounds. So this is going to be on the salt flat, so what would be more fitting than to put 160 pounds of salt inside and work out how this thing is going to be sitting. A few more views 
as it sits to this point.